Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. As you may can tell, I'm very excited today. The reason for that is that I'm looking at the new MSI Z170A gaming M7 motherboard for the new Skylake CPUs by Intel. There's an all new platform basically with a new CPU socket, new chips, a DDR4 RAM and so on. Just so you know, this is my main review of this gaming M7 motherboard, but I'll also do a separate video on overclocking. Now this M7 isn't exactly the cheapest Z170 board, but clearly that's a high end product. It currently comes in at a price of around 225 to 240 US dollars which is very competitive and still quite attractive for the sheer amount of features this motherboard comes with. A huge huge thank you to MSI for sending me this motherboard so quickly and making this review and surely many others possible. Inside a box, a quite nice looking one by the way, we find the beautiful motherboard itself, the manual, the quick installation guide, the driver CD, a thank you note from MSI with registration, the nicely padded black and red I.O. shield, four black SATA cables, SATA cable labels, NSLI bridge, MSI's M connectors, a beautiful case badge and last but not least, the traditional door hanger. The MSI Z170A Gaming M7 is a very beautiful motherboard in terms of aesthetics. The color scheme of black and red is nothing new. The PCB is kept matte black. MSI obviously decided to not do something too extreme in terms of the design and instead keep it a bit simpler, yet appealing to gamers as well as enthusiasts like myself. As with every new CPU and therefore motherboard generation, we get to see new designs and this one by MSI definitely has a very fresh yet acquainted one we immediately recognize. The red accents on this board are a bit different now though, but I like this one even more than the ones I've seen in the past, especially due to that metallic paint finish. Now let's get into detail. This gaming M7 features Intel's current flagship chipset model Z170. The fairly large PCH heatsink looks stunning and same can be said about these two large VRM heatsinks in the CPU socket area. These even are connected with a heat pipe to improve cooling. The M7 features a 14 phase VRM power design which is great for overclocking and stable power delivery. With this board MSI also introduces the latest military class 5 quality standard featuring dark and high C caps as well as brand new titanium chokes. Intel's new CPUs require a new socket, the LJ1151 socket, supporting all the new Skylake processors. As for memory for DDR4 DIMMs with support for dual channel XMP, capacities of up to 64GB as well as free frequencies ranging from 2133 MHz to all the way up to 3600 MHz at OC. Also we get a red LED here that lights up when XMP is enabled. Another neat feature here is DDR4 boost, which doesn't just make the CPU socket area stand out from the rest, but also could enhance RAM stability thanks to the fully isolated memory circuitry. We have several ways to look at storage connectivity here. A total of 6 SATA 6 gigabit per second ports, 4 of which are reserved for the 2 SATA Express ports. RAID 0, 1, 5 and 10 are supported. On the gaming M7 we get two M.2 ports supporting SATA 6 gigabit per second, PCIe 3.0 X4 standards as well as PCIe 3.0 X4, NVMe mini SAS SSD with a Turbo U.2 host card, which is not included though. RAID 0 and 1 are supported for M.2 PCIe storage devices and module lengths are 4.2, 6 and 8 centimeters. All of these SATA and M.2 ports run off the Intel Z170 chipset. However, certain combinations of all these SATA and M.2 ports will lead to certain ports becoming unavailable. Since it would be way too complicated and confusing, if I explained it all to you, I will let these images with examples speak for themselves here. At first it may seem very difficult to understand, but then it eventually all makes sense. So let's move on to the expansion slots. There are 3 PCIe 3.0 x16 as well as 4 PCIe 3.0 x1 slots, 2-way SLI and 3-way Crossfire supported. For a single GPU configuration install the graphics card into the first slot for the full x16 bandwidth. For 2-way use the first and second slot for x8 x8 and for 3-way obviously all 3 slots for x8 x8 x4 operation. Keep in mind that this M.2 1 slot will only run at the PCIe 3.0 x2 speed when having an M.2 PCIe device installed and when having a PCIe x1 device installed in the fourth PCIe slot at the same time. Also the third PCIe x16 slot will slow down from x4 to x2 when an extension card is installed into the third and sixth slot. The two most important PCI Express slots feature MSI so called steel armor which basically is a strengthening out of metal to help prevent damage to the slots when installing heavy GPUs. It also adds quite a bit to the aesthetics. 
The Z178 Gaming M7 now features Audio Boost 3. It features the Realtek ALT 1150, a channel 7.1 HD audio processor, and it's all EMI shielded, isolated from the rest of the board to avoid any kind of interference and that's another cool bonus for the aesthetics, since it nicely lights up in red. The audio signal gets filtered by these high quality Chemicon capacitors and we even get dual headphone amps here. As for LAN, on board is the very well performing killer E2400 gigabit LAN controller. In in total, this M7 board features 5 fan headers, 2 CPU fan headers and 3 system fan headers all across the board. Speaking of headers, here we have the JSPI1 header along with the chassis intrusion header, 2 USB 2.0 headers, the 2 front panel headers, a TPM header and the front panel HD audio header. On the right, two USB 3.1 headers, an angled one and a basic one. The basic red one is the charger port with a higher USB power output for faster charging of smartphones, tablets and all kinds of USB devices. Right here, as always, the 24-pin ATX power connection and the 8-pin ATX 12V power connection up here. The M7 luckily also has voltage checkpoints on board, small ones, but they're okay. Down there, even a debugging LED. The CPU temperature is displayed there after the post process. Up here is the new gaming hotkey switch. It enables more functionality using your own keyboard. You could for instance assign functions or macros, turn the PC on or off, load overclocking profiles and so on. On the bottom right are the onboard power and reset buttons as well as the new game boost style which basically is automatic overclocking with different dial levels, in fact up to 11 here making it possible to achieve 5 GHz on the CPU. Beside we have the slow mode booting switch that can be used to boot at a stable processor frequency at extreme overclocks to prevent the system from crashing. The little button right beside the switch is the flashback plus button and that one can indeed be a lifesaver. The bias recovery or let's say flashing in general is very easy. You just plug in a USB flash drive with the BIOS file on it into this flashback plus USB port and use the small button on the board. The BIOS can be flashed without the CPU, memory or graphics card. That's amazing. And yeah, excellent components are used all across the motherboard, therefore confirming to MSI's military class 5 quality standard even with humidity, high temperature, circuit, over voltage, ESD as well as EMI protections. Now let's move on to the back panel. Here we have the PS2 combo port, two USB 2.0 ports, the clear CMOS button, the USB 2.0 slash BIOS flashback plus port, one display port and two HDMI video outputs, one gigabit LAN port, two USB 3.1 ports, one USB 3.1 Type-C port, as well as one USB 3.1 Type-A port, and last but not least, the five audio jacks as well as the optical SPDIF output. USB 3.1 is twice as fast as 3.0 by the way, with double the bandwidth with 10 gigabits per second. The Z178 Gaming M7 features the new ClickBIOS 5 UEFI BIOS. It comes with a fresh design and layout and features an advanced mode as well as an easy one. The fonts now look much clearer than they were in the ClickBIOS 4, but the response of the user interface pretty much remains the same. It's excellent. What makes MSI's ClickBIOS one of my absolute favorite ones is the fact that all the different settings are well categorized and easily accessible which is good for beginners as well as advanced users. The hardware monitor lets you do a lot with your fans and things like the board explorer can make certain things like troubleshooting for instance a lot easier. I'm more than pleased with the new ClickBIOS 5 UEFI BIOS. The MSI Z178 Gaming M7 is for sure a stunning motherboard in more than just one aspect. I mean it looks absolutely fantastic although that's a matter of taste, it's perfectly stable, performs very well, is good for overclocking, the layout is good, the onboard audio solution is very good as well, the UEFI BIOS is easy to use and responds very quickly, we get tons of storage connectivity and possibilities, and yeah, what else can I say here? I'm just mind blown by this motherboard and can't really find any technical downsides. When digging deep for downsides, maybe the software such as Command Center could make use of some tweaking to further improve its response, but really, I'm not like that complaining about software here that much. But a Command Center, the gaming app as well as RAM disk are neat little extras in terms of software that many people might like. RAM disk in particular is quite interesting and I found a very cool feature in the gaming app, that being LED options. The LEDs on the motherboard can be turned on and off and you can even choose from different animation effects or choose random to make it go from one animation to another. Of course I did overclock my Intel i7 6700K with this motherboard and the results are amazing. I was able to get to 4.6GHz in literally just a minute or so, stable with a voltage of 1.344V, measured in CPU-Z. 
so I can confirm that this gaming M7 is suitable for overclockers and enthusiasts. Although the price tag of around $225 to $240 isn't that low, compared to the offered features, connectivity and performance, the price performance ratio can be considered as good. MSI has definitely risen to be one of the highest quality standards and they keep improving. I'd definitely recommend this MSI Z178 Gaming M7 motherboard. Without any doubt, it deserves my gold award. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.